Hey everybody, um, so I've had a few questions about uh, Turnitin. So I wanted to do a little demonstration on how to use Turnitin and creating your student account, etc. So back at the beginning of the semester, Dr. Gross had posted this um, submitting your research paper at the beginning of the semester, so it'll be at the very so here's the current announcements, and you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom almost. So there's the bottom emailing me, and just scroll up from there a little bit, and you'll see submitting your research paper. <clears throat> so now um, what happens is Turnitin is going to create an originality report, and um, so I'm going to show you how to create your student account. So to set up your account, go to turnitin.com. And what you want to do is open the link in a new tab. And also creating your student account link in a new tab. And that'll give you the instructions. So here it says, how do students get started? New users create a user profile. This is going to be for, um, if you haven't created your profile with Dr. Gross yet, this is how you'll be able to do it. So go to turn it in here. At the upper right, click Create Account. At the next screen, under Create a New Account, select Student. So we're going to do that here. Create Account. And you want to come down here and scroll down and see Student. OK? And now it's asking for your class ID information. So go back to Web Tyco. Here's your class ID. Right click Copy. Password is culture, so remember that to put that in here. Uh, control V to paste that. And culture is your password. You can scroll down here and it wants um, your first and last name, so Lacey Green. And I'm going to provide a new um, email address because I've already done this once, so I want to make sure that it works again here. And now you'll have it create a password. Okay, and you want to select a secret question. And agree, I agree, create profile. And I'm hoping this works. Okay, so now here you can see class name. This is uh, Dr. Gross's class, Environmental Fall 940. Okay. So you want to um, go ahead and click on that. And here you can see research paper. So this is your class homepage. To submit an assignment, click on Submit button. So that's what I'm going to do. Submit. <clears throat> now you can either cut and paste, or copy and paste your paper into here, or you can single file upload. And I prefer to, <clears throat> excuse me, single file upload here. So once you do that, um, let's see, you'll come down here to, well first you'll make a submission title, so I'm going to call this um, whatever the title of your paper is, I'm going to submit a CCK paper. Okay, scroll down, choose file, and I have it right here, gallbladder and CCK paper, so um, you just want to find it wherever it is. Double click on that, give it a minute, and then hit upload. Okay, so step one of three has been completed successfully. Here you can preview your paper and make sure that it's all there. And then you want to hit submit. Okay, so here's your paper, and you can go to uh, Portfolio. So now it's processing for similarity. I'm not sure how long this will take.
We'll see if it's done now. Okay, so it's finished. So you wanna go to view, view the paper that was submitted to this assignment, view. And it's gonna bring up this loading document viewer. Now my originality report is 3%, so this is really good. There's only 3% of the paper um, seems as if it may have been plagiarized from the source. <clears throat> Anything above uh, 15, 10 or 15 percent you want to be worried about. So the next step is to come over here and click originality. Okay. And you can scroll down and here you can see the highlighted areas um, that is taken verbatim from the text or somewhat verbatim. So it looks like uh, here I took it from the text, but I cited it down here. So this part and this part, <clears throat> if I had done this before I turned it in, I would probably, you know, rephrase this a little bit, but 3% is pretty good. So I'll finish scrolling down. Uh, here's another area and another area. And sometimes you can't, I wouldn't be able to change those two areas. Okay, so make this uh, large to fit your whole screen here. And you can see this little print icon down here. Go ahead and click on that. And then you can say download PDF of current view for printing. And your current view is going to have this originality report on it. <clears throat> okay, and it's finished downloading it looks like. So now you can scroll here and see these areas. Relaxation of the sphincter of Odie is the first part. Here's number two that they said um, was taken from the text and number three area that was taken from the text and that's it um, as far as my paper is concerned. Now if you scroll all the way down it'll provide a originality report. Uh, 3% similarity, 2% from internet sources, and 1% from a publication. <clears throat> So here's the publication um, that less than 1% was taken from. 1% here submitted to Liberty University. And then here is this internet source that I used for a total of 3%. Okay, and then um, you probably want to save this. So file, um, save as, and you can save it as a PDF or a text. So you can go back and forth to it from your Word document, you know, and then I would save it as CCK paper to my desktop or wherever you guys want to save it um, as, you know, PDF. And then you can always open that up. So I would save this to my computer and then, um, you know, have my, my Word document paper here and, you know, my originality report here. And that way I can see it. Um, and go through it and say, okay, I'll have to re reword this and reword, you know, and reword it over here in Word. <clears throat> okay, so um, if you want to resubmit, you can, let's see, it says um, resubmit your paper. Originality reports for resubmissions can take up to 24 hours to generate. So uh, remember that if, you know, you're kind of pressed for time, you need to resubmit it. Um, but if you make the proper changes, you probably won't need to resubmit it, although Dr. Gross wants you to submit your paper through Turnitin. So he's actually going to view this in Turnitin and not in the assignments folder. So you will need to resubmit it when you're completed uh, with the revisions. And just remember, it takes 24 hours to generate, like I had mentioned in the um, pre previous um, PowerPoint. And that's it. 
Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions, and I hope that this uh, helped maybe alleviate some of the questions or answer some of the questions that you guys had um, as far as, you know, what Turnitin does and what it looks like and how you can save it and what the originality report means. Um, so just remember, if you have, you know, more than uh, 10 to 15 percent similar, you're going to want to um, make those changes. All right.